Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to this video. So it's been like a really long time <laughs> since I filmed a book haul. I literally don't remember the last book haul I filmed because last year I kind of just like stopped buying books for the most part. Um, however, this year, recently, as in within like the last week, I have gotten super, super, super into manga. And like last year I read my first volume of manga and I really enjoyed it and I just was in a reading slump so I did not continue reading more. But like two weeks ago, I watched the anime for Yona of the Dawn and I am obsessed. When I say obsessed, I mean obsessed. I've already seen it twice. I'm about to start watching it a third time. Like I'm obsessed. And when I finished it and I found out that there was only one season and they're not making any more, or at least there's no news for a second season and that there are like 30 plus volumes out, but we still don't have another season of this show. I was enraged. I'm still enraged. <laughs> but because I needed more story, I immediately went to the manga and was like, I need to read this. Like, I need to read all of it right now. <laughs> so that's kind of how all of this started. That is the reason we are here today and I have so many volumes of manga to share with you because I did like a lot of damage. My bank account is crying. Yes, it's it wasn't pretty, but I don't regret anything because I'm so excited. Literally, I read 10, 11, 11 books last month. 10 of those were manga. Within two weeks after not reading anything, like I hadn't read a single book since like August. Like that's how much this has gotten me into reading. Anyway, I have a whole manga haul for you. I'm really excited to get into all of these. Yes, I will be doing like a full manga recommendation video eventually once I've read some more, but for now we've just got all the manga I need to share with you because I'm so excited about this and I literally don't have shelf space anymore. It's really tragic, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get into the books. Okay, so first of all, obviously we have to start with the series that started all of this that I already mentioned, Yona of the Dawn. Actually, technically Fruits Basket is what started it all because I uh, bought like a ton of those last year, but this is the one that has like sparked the like true surge of me buying manga because I'm obsessed. <laughs> Yona of the Dawn, what is this series about? Let me tell you if you don't know, because you should know, because you should be watching it and you should be reading it. And like, I'm about to make a whole petition to start a season two, because I want a season two so bad. <laughs> this is a historical fantasy romance series that basically takes a mixture of Japanese, Chinese, and Korean history and kind of combines all of it into this like fantasy world. The fantasy aspect of it is a bit lighter than like the historical aspect of it, but it's definitely still there. We follow our main character, Princess Yona, who is the princess of this kingdom until a tragedy occurs one day and she has to flee the palace with her bodyguard and like that's all I want to say. You don't need to know anything else about it. Oh my god, just read it. Just read it, read it, read it, read it. It's so good. I have not been this obsessed with anything since I watched Fruits Basket and like you all know how much I love Fruits Basket. That's literally like it topped Avatar for me. That's like my favorite show of all time now. If this had multiple seasons, I feel like it would be up there too. It's already up there but like criminal, criminal that we don't have more. I will never get over it. Anyway, moving on. So when I started it, I really didn't think I was gonna like it that much because every time I heard people talk about it, they just kind of mentioned it as like a romance series. And that was why I started watching it in the first place. I thought it was just gonna be another like fun romance series because I love romance anime and manga. So I did not expect the like historical and fantasy aspect of it, but I don't know how to explain this. Like this is not a romance story. Romance is definitely like a subplot in here and it is so, so slow burn in the best way possible, but so slow burn, like it's not not the main part of the story. It's an action adventure historical fantasy book. Like that's what it is about because this is genuinely like on par with Avatar The Last Airbender and like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for me, which are like two of my favorite shows ever in terms of like it's world building and storytelling and character development um, within like a fantasy magical kind of world. And it's so good. It is so good. I need more people to read this so that I can yell about it with more people. So that's why I'm here screaming about it. And you're thinking, Hannah, did you only buy one volume? No, of course not. I have volume one, volume four, volume 13, nothing in between here because everything is out of stock, unfortunately, and I cannot find them anywhere. And then all of volumes 16 through 30. I believe in English, the current like publication goes up to volume 34. So I have 16 through 30, I need the other ones. I will get them eventually. Was this excessive? Probably. Do I care? No, because I'm gonna read all of them because I'm obsessed with this series because it's so, 
so good. I'm gonna hold up volume 19 because it has Shinha on the cover and he's my favorite. I love him so much. <laughs> Currently I'm on volume nine. I've read the first eight volumes, which is all that the show covers. So I finally gotten into the post show content. I'm very excited about it. The series is just gonna kill me and I'm gonna fly through all of these. Also, if you're wondering how I'm reading the volumes that I don't have, I'm reading those digitally. And then whenever the volumes are available and back in stock, I will be buying them so that I can reread them again and again and have them in my collection because it's it's just so good. It's the best. I'm obsessed. Please Please watch and read Yona of the Dawn. One of the greatest anime I've ever seen. Absolutely underrated. Does not get the attention and love it deserves. It should be so popular. It should be so popular and I want it to be. So please read it, uh, watch it, love it, and then come scream about it with me. So then after I um, started reading Yona of the Dawn, I was like, I just, I need more manga. Like I need more manga in my life right now. So I've kind of pretty much just started with ones that I've seen the anime for before um, because I already know I like the story. I don't plan on like buying ones I haven't really read or at least I don't know the story for. I do this with my books too. Like I don't wanna own a bunch of things that I don't know whether or not I'll like them. So I typically buy things after I've already read them. And then with some of the ones that I've bought, even if I haven't read them, obviously like I've watched the anime so I know the story. So I know it's one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm just trying to collect my favorites for the most part. That's my goal with my manga collection for now. So then starting with this next series, this is also an anime that I absolutely love. I've watched this one three times. It's one of my favorites as well and I've always wanted to read the manga. I was just intimidated by the sheer number of volumes because I think this one has like 20 something. So it's really long. Um, but I did get two of the volumes for Snow White with the red hair. This is literally, like I said, one of my favorite anime, such a good romance anime. It's so, so fun, so happy, so pleasant and pleasing and peaceful to watch. Um, I did not mean to do that alliteration, but it apl it's applicable, it applies. It's so good, just watch it. <laughs> and I'm really excited to read the manga. I have volumes two and four. Um, they did not have one or three in stock. So I'm just gonna get some of the early ones for now so I can eventually start reading these as well. Yeah, I'm super, super excited about these. I know that this also only has technically two seasons, but like it's basically one season, it's only like 24 episodes. Um, and I know there's way more story. So I'm excited to get to the post show content so I can see where else the story goes. And again, just another anime that I would highly, highly recommend if you like romance anime, princes and castles, and like a subtle retelling of Snow White. It's subtle, it's not fully a retelling, but like just a little bit. Very, very good. Highly recommend. Next up, I have one volume of a manga that I read last year, which was the first manga I read, and that is Horimiya Volume 1. I loved this show. I thought it was very good. I've seen it twice now. Um, as you can tell, I rewatch things I really like. It's just what I do. I don't like watching new things that much, so I typically just rewatch things. But I did read the manga right after I watched the show, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I did buy volume one. I do want to get some of the other ones as well. Um, I don't know that I will collect like the entire thing, but I do plan to collect like the first volume of some of my favorite shows because I think it'll just be nice to have them on my shelf because they're some of my favorites, even if I don't want like the entire series. So yeah, this one, um, I might get the other ones. I do want to read them at least. So we'll see. But for now, I do have volume one. This was really hard to find. It's out of stock everywhere. And like one Barnes and Noble nearby me actually had one in stock. So I had to call the store and have them order it for me. Um, but I finally did get my hands on a copy. So I'm really happy. This is just like a high school like coming of age romance story about these two characters who um, are very different when they're at school versus when they're at home and they kind of just start to develop a relationship. It's very good, very lighthearted, and just really fun to read and get through. So yeah, highly recommend if you're looking for something super simple, kind of just slice of life and just really easy to read. Next up, I have volumes one and two of Your Name. This is the manga adaptation of the movie, which is literally like my favorite movie of all time. This and like Howl's Moving Castle and Pride and Prejudice are my top three movies of all time. And it's interchangeable, but like this is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. I've watched it so many times and so I had to have the manga so I can read it. There's one more volume, so I do need volume three, but I'm very excited to read it. I'm sure the story is exactly the same. I don't care though, because I love this story and I will consume it in every way possible. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, you absolutely have to. It's so good. Such an incredible soundtrack too, visually so beautiful. Um, I talk about it a lot because I really, really love it. So yes, highly, highly recommend. And I'm very interested to see if this is any different from the movie. Also quickly, before we get into the last books, I did want to mention that I also got a copy of Five Centimeters Per Second. I um, read this one not too long ago and really, really loved it. So I ordered a copy, but it ended up coming like a couple days after I filmed this video. So I couldn't mention it earlier, but I did want to include it in the video because I really loved this manga. It was so good. 
it made me cry and um, I just am so glad that I read it. Would definitely recommend this one if you want a good standalone manga. All right, and then lastly, it can't be a manga video or even an anime related video in any capacity if I do not mention Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket, my favorite, my favorite of all time. Oh my God, it's been a bit since I've talked about it. <laughs> so I was missing a few volumes. So I ordered volume three, volume six and volume eight. I am still missing volume seven. However, it is sold out literally everywhere. I cannot find it anywhere. And I'm very sad. If anyone knows where I can find volume seven of the collector's editions of Fruits Basket, please let me know. I'm desperately looking for it because I have all the rest. <laughs> like I've said many, many times, my favorite anime of all time. I still haven't read these. I desperately need to read these and I will very soon. Such a good story. I've seen it like five times at this point. I wanna watch it again now that I'm talking about it. <laughs> if you don't know anything about it, it's about this orphaned girl who ends up living with the Soma family and they have like the curse of the zodiac on them, which basically means they like shapeshift into the different zodiacs, like the tiger and the the rabbit and the rat and stuff. And it sounds super weird, but it is literally one of the best, the best stories I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so good. You just have to give it a chance. Watch the anime. It's so heartbreaking. It will ruin your life in the best way possible. And it'll make you cry and laugh and feel every other emotion under the sun. I love Fruits Basket and I'm so excited to read the manga. All right, so there you all have it. That is it for my manga haul. I am so, so excited to finally be getting into manga and to like grow my collection. If you have any recommendations for me of manga that I should read, I already have like a super, super long list, but I am happy to take more recommendations. I'm really excited to read as much as I possibly can. If you have any like manga or anime related content that you would like to see, let me know and I will try my best to make some of them because um, as you know, I obviously love anime and I love manga too so I would like to incorporate some more of that into my videos as well but again thank you all so much for watching this video if you would like to follow me on any of my social media all my links are in the description box as always but thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye